Hello, I am Ron Baker, and today I want to talk about another facet of the relationship arena. Every single thing we do in our lives involves relationships with one another. Every single thing we do. We do not live in a vacuum, and therefore it is so important that we begin to become conscious and to make conscious choices that set us up better than what most people have been taught. So today's subject is going to be a very simple premise, and that is absolutes never serve us. There's a little humor in that title if you pay attention. I just used an absolute. Absolutes never serve us. Never is an absolute. It is so challenging to try and convey ourselves and one another in such strict, rigid absolutes. And two of the most commonly used ones that truly don't serve anybody are always and never. How, pay attention. How often in your day do you go, you always do that. You never call me. You never... It is baffling, once people start to pay attention, how often they either say it out loud or they say it in their heads silently. Some people are more verbal about it, but it doesn't matter if it's only happening in your head. If you want to justify some perspective, it becomes the most convenient, inaccurate way of describing things. Now, I didn't say that if you've been in a relationship for a, quite a while, that you don't know the patterns and habits of that other person. And therefore, you can feel, you always, you never, because that's genuinely how you've described a feeling. However, it is not actually true that another person or that you and I, for that matter, always and never do certain things. Now, all of us do have patterns. We do have habitual behaviors until we feel safe enough to slow down, evaluate those behaviors, and then make a new conscious choice about the behavior. Evaluating your choices and deciding for yourself, huh, I do this. I realize I often do this. Healthier word. Does that serve me? Is that my only option? Do I like it at all? We need to be willing to have those kinds of conversations with ourselves because we can treat ourselves just as badly as we can treat others. I always mess up. I never get it. I always... Oh my gosh, the list is endless. Don't absolute yourself or the others in your life. Purposefully interrupt it when you notice it. Purposefully slow down and be gentler with yourself. This is so helpful. So if I say to you right now, you never reach out to me. You never tell me. You never help me. How does that feel to you? Does it make you feel safe? Does it make you feel inspired to want to have this conversation? I'm guessing not. I've been teaching for a long time human behavior and how to create enhancements that make your life better and better and better. It doesn't feel good to hear those absolutes. And so, how much better does this feel? 
It seems to me that you do this sometimes. When you do this, I feel such and such. How much better does it feel to leave some room with the words, it seems to me? When we communicate in absolutes, we tend to make declarations that are often accusations. I'll say that again. We tend to make declarations that are accusations. You do this, you always do this, you never do this. Whew. Sounds like accusations and we don't end up feeling safe. Instead, sometimes this happens. Sometimes I notice this. Sometimes I feel it would help me if you... Doesn't that feel calmer, gentler, healthier? I guarantee that if you begin to show up with those kinds of nurturing, gentle observations that aren't accusations, you're going to get a different response from others. So listen to this and see how it feels. You always do this. You never do this. You never reach out and talk to me about. The challenge when we hear absolutes is that we stop listening to what comes after the declaration that's an accusation. So it does not feel good to any of us to hear these absolutes. Instead, how does this sound to you when I say it? Sometimes, it seems to me, this happens. Sometimes is a phenomenal word. It's also much more accurate. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes you have done this and I just want to talk about it. No accusation, no declaration, no absolute. This will loosen up the opportunity to work out conflicts, misunderstandings, whereas if you jump in and accuse, you're not going to get a healthy conversation. What you are much more likely to inspire is defense. I do not. We're going to feel attacked. We will close down. We will defend ourselves. Well, you always is what a lot of people are going to come back with. Just begin to pay attention to this in your life this week, and you will see what I mean. Then purposefully practice just this one simple adjustment. Sometimes this happens, and I want to talk about it. Can we come up with other alternatives? Another thing to do if you've noticed something about another person is to include yourself and make it a we conversation. I've been paying attention, and it seems to me that sometimes we can get caught up in interrupting each other. Sometimes we can get caught up in absolutes and accusing one another. Sometimes, you get the point, it's so much easier to be heard and to inspire a conversation where you can work through it and... Be wise. Include yourself. I realize from having taught people, thousands of people, over these 25 years, that any choice that someone else is making, I have done at some point, in some variation. We're all human. We're all working through a learning curve. And sometimes... We make mistakes just like the ones we notice in others. Sometimes we're the ones pushing buttons that we notice when people push ours. 
So this beautiful way of making an adjustment in your relationships will truly make a difference. It will help you every single time. Those kind of absolutes don't help either. It will gradually improve your life and it will get better and better and better. Doesn't that feel easier to hear than the absolutes? So pay attention, make adjustments. It will make a difference. Have a great week. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Before we close, I wanted to encourage a couple of things. Number one is to go to ronbaker.net. There you will find lots of clues for how you can deepen this conversation. You can also find a way to get the booklet an essential guide to the nine nurturing needs. This is going to be a core focus of how we're gonna enhance the quality of your life from the inside out in all the episodes. So I encourage you to go there to get an overview of those nine nurturing experiences that we all seek more than any other thing in our lives. I also want you to get involved in the conversation here. I really would like to talk about the things that are important to you. The things that you're concerned about or excited about. We live in a wacky world that is changing constantly. We need to learn to connect to ourselves, to count on ourselves, and to count on one another. So please, Either get involved at ronbaker.net or in the Facebook page, which is Empowered at Last with Ron Baker. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to deepening this conversation about life. And I close as always, choose well, live fully, and by all means, be good to you. Have a great week.